The Occult Bookstore was opened in 1918. It makes us the oldest shop of this type in the world. We deal with all kinds of people from all kinds of places. I came to the store at a point in my life where I was actually trying to avoid all of this weird stuff that was happening to me. But the one thing that holds everything in common is this quest for something that is larger outside themselves. I was raised a Catholic. I always have a question and the question was never answered. It was always answered with a quote from the Bible. I'm still in the broom closet to like my mother and my family back home. Um, my mom knows that I work at a bookstore that deals with like herbal stuff. Most of the stuff has been here for a long time and actually um, to come on staff at the occult bookstore is a pretty rigorous process. I've been on them for like a year to try and get a job here. I've been like trying forever and I was like I just wanted to work here and learn more and do all this stuff. In terms of books, what really goes really well are what we refer to as the magical primers. And these books sort of are a, uh, a resource or an all-in-one into what it takes to sort of like, you know, uh, get on your feet and, and understand a bit of the history and be able to make it your own. Now I'm not afraid to use occult, mysticism, witchcraft, Wicca, where before I picked up this book, it had all negative connotations. We have things that go from like a, um, a $5 smudge stick all the way up into the uh, thousands, dollar, thousands of dollars range. We have some rare items and some rare books um, that go for like $12,000. More people are interested um, in alternative spiritual paths. More people are interested in their own connection with divinity.